Mark, welcome to Hibernian. Pleased to get up over the line. Yeah, very pleased. Yesterday was uh, it was a long day, so uh, come sort of by the time I landed last night, it was sort of uh, buzzing to get it done. Talk us through your day because there were a few twists and turns along the way. There was. It wasn't. It wasn't plain sailing. It was uh, a case of sitting in the house, uh, waiting by the phone, sort of uh, picking up a phone call from one person, phone another, phone another. Uh, it was on. It was off. It was on. It was off. So, like I said, by the end of the day, it was just a relief that it was done. It obviously came down to the wire and it came down to deadline day, but by all accounts you've been on a list in here for a long time. Were you aware of that interest? Yeah, I had been. Uh, there was, it's obviously a, a past sort of few windows. There was always sort of maybe a little chance of me going um, different places, and I was always aware that Hibs were interested, uh, which was a good thing for me. I knew that sort of the team that was sort of behind the scenes working here, um, in particular, obviously Graham Mafia was. Uh, so sort of the driving force behind it, I think, and I had a good couple of lengthy chats with him, and um, he sort of made it happen. You've been down the road in England for a wee while now, so for supporters that maybe haven't seen you play, how, how would you describe your, your style? What do you think you'll bring to, to Hibs? Uh, hopefully some goals, that would be, that'd be a good start, obviously. Being a striker and coming up the road, uh, I think everyone sort of will judge you on how many goals you score, and I sort of like that pressure. Uh, I think most strikers... Um, play well under pressure, especially they know that everyone's expecting them to score goals. Uh, that was out of the case last year when I was at Coventry and managed to do pretty well and I think hopefully the same. I get a run of games here and I'll bring some goals and um, I know that I'll, I'll work hard even if I don't score goals, you know that I'll, I'll give 110%. You had other offers, what was it appealed about Hibs and about maybe coming back to Scotland? Yeah, I had quite a few offers and it was, it was sort of something that maybe I'd uh, I was sort of holding off because maybe in my gut that uh, I knew of other teams sort of wanting me to go on loan and stuff for for a couple of weeks and I just something wasn't right and uh, had a good like I said I had a, a good couple of phone calls with Graham Maffey and um, he had like I'd said earlier he's, uh, the last few windows had sort of been interesting and stuff like that and um, he, he was really good he, was, he came across well and obviously spoke highly of the club and. Spoke to a couple of ex-players and they spoke very highly of it. And being a local lad, I knew pretty much quite a quite a lot about it. But just hearing these things from from different people sort of made my mind up that I wanted to come back. You always been frustrated because you've not played recently as much as you would have liked. But a better player for being down in England for all the experiences you've had. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Even this season, it's I've not played a lot, but the games you've played in, they're, they're brilliant. I mean, you, you play against all the massive teams, the teams that have been in the Premiership and players that have. Played all their days in the Premiership, so even training with them, it's, you learn something every day and you, you get better and better. Um, it is disappointing you don't play as much games, but sometimes that's football. Um, but yeah, definitely I've, I've took a lot for, for playing in England and hopefully I can um, show what it's all about up here. So if you Scottish boys go down and come back up with the tail between the legs, or it, it's maybe too physical or it doesn't work out for them, what do you think helped you stick it out? What must have been a, a few tough early days. There was, and look, there's, there's, there's tough days all the time. There's tough days this year. Um, there's, when I first went down, I found it tough, sort of in and out of the team. Um, and I just think it's one of them. You need to be determined to do well and um, and want to succeed. And, um, every club I want to go at, it maybe not work out that way, but personally, I, I want to leave the club um, doing well and, and people saying thanks for your services rather than not get them out the door quick enough. Uh, but no, for me it's, it is that, it's, it's wanting to do well at a club and, and leave it in, sort of, in, in a good way. You're a local boy, signing's going down well, it seems as if everyone you speak to either knows you or knows somebody that knows you or thinks they know you, your ticket requests are going to be off the <laughs> chart. And you had that association with Hibs from before, you were here as a kid, talk us through your, your kind of spell here and, and the, the impression it left on you. Yeah, um, like you say, as being a local lad, I know quite a lot of people um, in the city and it's been a good response. I've also had a little bit of abuse with some people, but um, I'll take that on board. There. And it's, it's been great really uh, to come back. And obviously, I think it's ten years ago now. Uh, sort of got released, as they call it, when you were young uh, from Hibs at the time, which was obviously devastating. But like, these things happen in football. Um, that good thing looking back. Yeah, definitely. And I think for, for young people that maybe hear this story, it's it's a case of. When someone tells you that you're not good enough, there's always there's always sign on the door that opens. At the time, you don't think that. Believe me, I was it was one of the dark days that when that happened. But looking back, yeah, definitely because it gave me a platform 
uh, to maybe go down down to Livingston and, and play regularly at a young age. Um, and I definitely benefited from that. I managed to get a move down to Sheffield United after that. So yeah, it was it was tough at the time, but no, it was good. And I, I definitely think of like I said earlier, I learned from my experiences in England. Must be a few familiar faces still kicking about. There is. Got the well, like you said, there's a few Time boys. For stars. <laughs> kit man, kit lady, yeah. Um, Mikey Meek and the scout, Gav. Um, they actually brought me to Hibs when I was 13 year old, and they're, they're still here and still getting phone calls every day from Mike Meek and um, persuading me to come to Hibs. So um, it's been good. It has seeing old faces and, and hearing feel people um, wanting you back so much. That was a big factor. You have, you have done well in the intervening period and you, you had other offers, but is there a wee sense of unfinished business here as well? Everyone likes to, to leave on a, a positive note. Yeah, like I said there, like every club I've been at, um, I think the main thing for me was, was to leave on a positive note. I think I, I don't like the feeling of leaving a club and, and no, not doing well. Um, and yeah, definitely. If, I wouldn't say unfinished business because obviously I was, I was only 16 then, I was very young, but I definitely feel like I've got a wee we fire burning inside me, and we point to prove um, that obviously can cut it hips, so fingers crossed to get some goals. You're looking forward to hit the ground running and get stuck in. I know you've not played that much recently, but you've, you've been good in that, you're ready to roll. Yeah, definitely. I've been training every day. Um, it's just, that's a frustrating thing, you train every day and you want your game at the weekend, and it's sort of not been coming for the last uh, little while, but um, it just makes me hungry to, like you say, get into the game, get stuck in, and um, hopefully goals will come. You've trained with the boys for the first time, so it's about not much to ask you about your new teammates, but we're quite strong in attack with guys like Flo and Ollie, and there's, uh, we seem to have collected a lot of central midfielders, there's a decent supply line for you, so you must be optimistic you'll, you'll complement them well. Yeah, definitely, and I think that I've watched a couple of games over the sort of last few weeks, uh, and I've seen, like you say, the players that they've got, um, and as a striker, you sort of look at things like that and you see how many chances a game will the players be creating. And, You've got very good attacking players at the club, so I think for myself it's it's not going to be a, a case of a shortage of chances. It'll just be a case of me sticking them away. I'm pretty confident that'll happen. You're nipping in the here for a, a starting slot. Or are you quite happy to bide your time? No, look, I'm I'm obviously happy to bide my time. I don't think you should ever just go to a club and expect to start. You've got you've got to earn that. I mean, um, obviously don't know the team for tomorrow yet, but if it's if it's starting then. Absolutely delighted if it's coming off the bench and that'll be great. I'll hopefully prove a point to, to start the next game game.